Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Mimis. Hello, guys. How are you? How's everybody doing? Are you doing fine? Is everybody good? Fine. In a little tiny. Great, great. So I'm, super, see, um, I'm super happy to see you guys. Gracias por conectarse super tempranito. I saw Norbert, Richard, like uh, Pedrina too, very mm -hmm. early. So I hope your Tuesday is going just fine. Nice. I see Jackie. Hi, Jackie. How are you? Moses. Hey, Moses. How you doing? Ignacio, me alegra verlo acá early. Brenda, hello. Hi, Guadalupe. Hello. Hi, Mr. Hello, Miss. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hola, Miss. Espero que esté mejor. So, oh, hi, hi, Guadalupe. I confused your voices. De repente confundí both of your voices. Okay. Okay, guys. So, I'm super excited to see you. Eh, tenemos la sesión número 12 today. And, uh, and I'm happy to see, like, very good attendance. Eh, vamos a uh, practicar uno de los temas that I consider most in interesting porque son experiencias. Ya vimos este tema, but today vamos a enfocarnos un poquito más en speaking, you know, listening, understanding, and speaking practice. Um, solo me ayuden con la camarita unos momentos, please, if you have your camera ready. And uh, me regalan siempre confirmación verbal that you're here. Just Hello, Pedrina. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. Fine. Ready? I hope so. <laughs> okay, I answered myself. Okay, let's get started. Uh, Anita, está por acá? Anita? No, right, probably not. Eh, Guadalupe? Present, Miss. Gracias. So, Anita, no. Guadalupe is here. Brenda, ya la vi. Gracias, Miss, por conectarse. Le agradezco enormemente. Brian? Hola, presente. Hey, Brian, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Great. I'm I'm very excited, you know, very happy. Thanks. Maybe because I drank too much coffee. <laughs> but I'm like super <laughs> hyper. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sí, gracias. Yeah, gracias por conectarse. Me alegra escucharlo. Eh, Carlos? Sí, sí. Ayer tuve problemas de internet. Sí, eso estoy viendo ahorita, la, la conexión, pero, pero me alegra que ya está acá. So thank you so much for that. Eh, Carlos, Carlos, todavía no. Dani, Guadalupe, sí, eh, Natalie, eh, Jackie, creo que por aquí de allá. Yes, Miss. Hello, Miss, how Hello, are you? Miss. I'm fine. Great, I'm super happy to hear that. Miss, tenemos pendiente. So. <laughs> I'm watching. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Cuando tenga tiempito, no worries. Okay, it's, it's fine. fine. Jocelyn? Yo que vas a venir temprano, pero te, pero te pregunté cómo vas. Ay, no. Okay, uh, Ignacio, hi Ignacio, good evening. Uh, teacher, forever busy, but ready for the class. <laughs> forever busy, I know. No, I know, y gracias por conectarse. Thank you so much, um, because Eh, estaba viendo sus tiempos de conexión súper buenos, así que thank you so much for um, la responsabilidad, you know, for being here. Truly appreciate it. Norbert, Norbert, hello. Present teacher. There you go. The boy from paradise. How are you? In la room. Yo no entro a eh, I got Marvin Bonilla. Marvin? No. Marvin López? Okay. Mo Miriam Claribel? Clary? Not yet. Uh, Moses? Present teacher. Hello, Moses. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. 
But I'm, you know, I'm happy to see you. Y me alegra que, que ya estoy descansando. No lo veo trabajando this time. So I'm glad. I'm, I'm super glad that you can rest. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, Pedrina. Solo me regala confirmación verbal, please, Pedrina, that you are there. Hello, teacher. Hello. There we go. Thank you so much. Uh, René, no sé si René ya está por acá. Hi, René. Present, present. Hello, thank you. Uh, Ricardo, yeah, I saw Richard. Super early. Present, teacher. There you go. Thank you so much. Sandrita. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Present. Wow, okay. Your voice sounds with a lot of energy. No sé si mi audio, <laughs> but your voice is like very uh, energetic today. Thank you so much. Mabel, hello. Good evening. Oh, no, she's not here yet. Okay. Uh, Ingrid. Not yet. Creo que escuché a Marvin. Present teacher. Mr. Bonilla, there you go. Thank you. How are you? So, Mr. Bonilla, and let me see. Okay, yeah. I think we got that. All right, everybody. So, gracias por conectarse. Eh, super tempranito siempre. Thank you so much for that. And uh, comenzamos ahora la sesión número 12, you know. Terminamos la próxima semana. Esto va a ser súper corto. Así que les pido que intentemos practicar tanto como podamos. Eh, remember that this is, you know, for, for a year, parte de las metas que ustedes tienen. En solo le facilitamos la forma de hacerlo más rápido, right? Así que, eh, thank you so much for your participation and let's get started. Denme un segundito, solo voy a mover la cámara porque estoy como bien oscura. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I think this is a little better, but <laughs> I look like very darky. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Uh, guys, ¿me escuchan bien? Can you listen to me? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Yes. Great, great, great. So thank you so much for that. Okay, guys, let's get started. El día de ayer empezamos con la unidad número tres. We were working with some vocabulary uh, que se relaciona bastante con troubleshooting y vimos estas palabritas. So we checked the vocabulary. Revisamos un poquito para los compañeros, you know, que um, probablemente they missed it, they don't remember. So give me some examples. Give me some sentences utilizando estas palabras. So what we are going to do is the following. Voy a escoger some victims. I know you're ready. So Jackie, ayúdeme con any of the words that we have here. Please, Jackie. Cualquiera de estas. You can select any of them, no necesariamente la primera, no necessarily the first. Ooh. Oración es la que quiere, teacher. Sí, mis, un ejemplo. Any, <laughs> pero cualquiera, any of them. <laughs> 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 We will help you. No worries. <laughs> we will help you here. It can be troubleshooting. It can be fixed. It can be repaired, broken, battery, turn on, turn off, power outage, socket. Sin revisar el poder, no es posible, guys. <laughs> I see Norbert like, ah, quiero recordarme. <laughs> Okay, so try not to try not to check your number. Intente recordarse, but it's okay. It's just fine. Um, mientras Jackie, you know, uh, she gets ready. Mientras ella se, se prepara. Uh, let me just have some big teams. Anita, the power girl. So Anita es como muy knowledgeable eh, porque su área de experiencia, así que la vamos a explotar with this topic. Um, Anita, help us with, con cualquiera de ellas, help us. <clears throat> okay, teacher. Um, 
Ya la tengo, teach. Yeah, amazing, amazing. ¿De cuál palabra escogió? What word did you select? I repaid my TV. Mm -hmm. Repai. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that sounds good. So I repair my TV. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Uh, next, next, next. Anita? Um, okay. I trouble shorting my computer because oh. it's very slow. Okay. Great. So I did some troubleshooting because my computer is a slow. I like your example. Remember the troubleshooting, guys? Son los pasitos para reparar algo. Thank you. Very good. Uh, let me see. Sandrita, what about uh, any of the missing words? Can you help us with an example? Uh, mientras Sandrita... Uh, yes, Pedrino. Tengo una, pero no sé. Ahí me corrige. Yes, I like it. Go, go ahead. The children broken in cell phone... Oh, stay strict. Okay, so the, the children. Pronuncia mal último. <laughs> no, no, no. Can you, can you say it again? Can you okay. repeat it? Mm -hmm. The children have broken? Eh, uh -huh. The children broken me eh, cell phone. Oh, stay strict. Algo así. I se got it. So the screen. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, ok. No, that's ok. That's ok. So, the children, solo le vamos a agregar después de children, la palabra have, de tener. Have. Yes. Ah, okay. ya, ya ahorita vamos a ver por qué. But that's a very good example. So, ah, children okay. have broken the cell phone uh, in, the, in the front part, like the screen. Okay. They have broken the screen of the cell phone. Very good, Pedrina. Nice. Nice okay. try. Anybody else? Is Rita, are you there? Let me see. Norbert, do you have an example for us? Okay, teacher. Uh, sure. For example, uh, my computer is mm -hmm. on. No true on. Very good. So my mm -hmm. computer, well, podemos usarle como lo que veíamos ayer, the one, the no va a encender, no enciende. My computer won't turn on, right? Or my computer doesn't turn on. Very good, Norbert. Good, good. Moses, do you have an example for us? Okay, teacher. Uh, for example, uh, I need to repair my cell phone screen because it is broken. Good. I like that. I like the example. Okay, cool. Thank you. Richard, do you have one for us? Yes, teacher. For example, my laptop one tour on good it was working but often i don't not what's working okay very good i like your example can you say it again lo puede decir please eh, intentamos no, no leerlo try to just say it so my computer so I my laptop <laughs> my laptop okay how do you uh, know? Want to turn on to turn on mm -hmm. it's what mm -hmm. Working. It was working. It was working perfectly. Okay. Uh, I don't know mm -hmm. what work works. Yeah. Very good. Now that's good. So I don't know. I don't know. Como que le pasó. Algo así. I don't know what's wrong. Yes. Okay. I don't know what's wrong. Very good. I like your example. Very like complex. Mabel, do you have an example for us? Hello, El que tenía ayer, o uno, hello, hello. Ay, si puede ser otro, that would be awesome. <laughs> If you can create uh, another okay. one, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, Con cualquiera, any of the words. Cualquiera, el que, yes. el que se presta. Okay. Yes. Um, I need to fix my... Um, ¿Cómo se dice pantalón? Eh, si es jeans, jeans. Si es formal, sería pants. Formal. Si es formal, pants. pants. I, yes. I need to fix pants. Mm -hmm. Oh, ok. Yes, I need to fix them. Okay. Good. ¿Cómo es de, eh, que está descosido? ¿Descosido o cómo se dice? 
Um, eh, para ropa utilizamos la palabra mend, que mend es como para esos casos, que está como rotito, digamos, <ríe> o está abierto. So, es Rompido para... es. <ríe> it's the word mend. <ríe> Se le voy a decir, yeah. Por Pero, eh, rompido. Eh, eh, rom, rompido. Yes, eh, italiano con inglés. Eh, rom, eh, eh, I have, I have a, in Spanish, rompido es, es una palabra maldecida. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ok, I don't know okay. too much. Siempre tengo problemas con esos verbos y de hecho lo que vamos a ver today. Because I don't know how to use them. Like, a ver, I don't know how to use them. Yo pensé, yo pensé, que, yo pensé que iba a decir siempre tengo problemas con estos niños. Ah, no. También. <laughs> eh, eso sí, also, also. Me refería a los birds, but ok. <laughs> Ahora que lo menciona, you know. No, just kidding. Okay, so let's move yeah, on. Um, I, yes. I, I, I okay. want to participate. Word, of course. Give us your example. Do you have one with power outage? No he escuchado a nadie, you know, atreviéndose con la palabra power outage. No, my, my, my word is fixed. Okay, sure, go ahead. Okay. Now, teacher, now I do my latest report in Anda with our company is uh, work to and okay and the supervisor found me an error at the report mm -hmm. so i told him i will fix a error mm -hmm. okay uh, mm -hmm. because uh i have already a word the file the, the report ah, okay um just a question uh, would it be a mistake or error, like the, error, error, the, the name, the, the, the name of project, the name is project are the error. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. happened is that uh, yes, yes. Uh, sorry, uh, my my home, my home have a uh, power outer. Oh, okay. Is that for real or is that an example? <laughs> For, for example. Ah, okay. <laughs> Aquí todo bien en la champita. Ah, okay, okay. No, but because we never know. So yeah, everything is possible. So it's really like hard to, to, to know. So thank you. Very good, very good. So guys, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de un temita that we checked in the previous module. Right? This is past participles. ¿Alguien se recuerda que eran los past participles? Do you remember? So tenemos estas tres columnas. Base, como la forma base del verbo. We have past and we have past participle. Tenemos tres. We got three. Unos no cambian. Some verbs son bien facilitos because les agrego ed, that would be it. Some other verbs son más difíciles, más se hacen lo, los complicados, you know? So, vamos a cambiarlos totalmente. What I need right now from you is to help me uh, selecting the verb that we can use in past and the verb that we can use in past participle. So let's do it together, you know, to remember this verb. Um, let me just share this. Let me see if I can make this smaller to be modifying this. Okay, there we go. So for example, I got a check, right? And I have to make the past of check. How can I make the past of check? ¿Cómo digo yo revise? Check. Can you spell that for me? Hello? Yes, ¿cómo lo de letra? How do you spell that? Um, ya me metió huevo porque no me acuerdo. No, spelling the alphabet. So, ¿Cómo lo llamamos? Chicken. Es en. C-H-E-C-K-E-D. Ok, yes, exactly. So we have check in the passive checked. Ok, very good. Check it. Yeah, check. le agregamos una T, como check, ok, now, good, 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 ¿qué pasa con el pasado participio? Va a ser el mismo a los que les agrego R, so, copy and paste, check, the same, exactly the same, 
Okay, I need one with verified, right? Verified. Alguien me ayuda? Anybody? Si no lo conocen, exactly, verificar. Si no lo conocen, pueden revisar el material. This is in your material. Eh, verified. Mm -hmm. How do you spell it? ¿Cómo lo deletrea? <laughs> Richard, Richard. Eh, okay. okay, let's do it together. Let's do it together. La E es I. La E es I. Ok, so comencemos. Eh, Let's ayudar. start. V. V. I. 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 Esta es muy... I. La siguiente, how do you say E? I. I, I perfect. I, yes. I, 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 S, F, yes. J. Ah, guay, guay, perdón. Guay. Sí. ¿Para el pasado? No, 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 no. Termina I, I, D. Vamos a, para el pasado, I, vamos a hacerle el cambio. Y le quito la guay, porque no la necesito. And I'm going to use I, I, D. Uh -huh. That will be verified. So, yeah. como no neces yeah. como written before, se llevan ED, the ones that have ED, va a ser exactamente lo mismo en los dos. It is going to be exactly the same in both of them, right? So, verified and verified. Now, let's, let's jump. Let's go with go. Go. When, miss. Permítanme que me silencie. Hold on. Give me one second. Okay, so uh, go. Yeah, you said went. Very good. Ahora tenemos el pasado participio, que es un poquito diferente. How do you spell past participle? ¿Alguien se recuerda del pasado participio? Teníamos por ahí una listita. We had like a list of verbs. That you got to memorize. ¿Alguien se recuerda del pasado participio de go? Go, went. Da, 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 da. Anybody? Gona. Gona. Mm, no, casi, no, no. pero no. <ríe> Bien cerca. Yeah, super yeah, close. Yeah. Yes. Give it a try. Give it a try. So go, went. Mm. Si comienza con G, it starts with G. Going. Close. This is gone. Oh. So go, go, went and gone. Go, went and gone. All right. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. I know. I use the first. Okay, give me one second. Hold on. Let me just make this. Okay, um, all right, there we go. So go, went, gone, then we have take. What is the pass of take? What is the pass of take? Como digo yo tomé? I? Talk, teacher. Good, yes. Yeah. Y el pasado participio? Taken. Taken. Taken, very good. Ay, ya nos estamos acordando, nice. Then we have make. What is the past? Como las tacitas, recuérdense, el fondo de la taza dice una palabra. Made. Made. And what is the past participle? Lo mismo. So made. All right. De hecho. Then we have do. El pasado de do. Do. Did. Did. Y me falta uno. Do. Did. Do. Did. Don Miss Don. Don. Mi hermana don. está gritando del otro lado, Don. <laughs> okay, don. so do, did, and done. Very good. There we go. Okay, then we have have. Has. 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 No, no. Hay otra letra. There is another letter. Es. 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 Es.
There is another letter. D, exactly. So this is have, have, okay, and have. There we go. Have, have, have. So let's take a look at this. Um, let's listen to the pronunciation first, all right? And I want you to listen, especialmente los sonidos que van con R. So this is check, checked, checked. Okay, one more time. Ahora repitan conmigo. Check, checked, checked. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Ok, ok, ok. Let's do the following. Let's do the following. Vamos a hacer este sonido. Light. Hello. Like a, like a. Light. Ok, now checked. Then we have the other one that is verified. Verified. Le agregamos una de. Let's repeat it, guys. Vamos a repetirlos. Repeat it with me, please. Check, checked, checked. Check, checked, checked. Very good. Good, Ignacio. Okay. Uh, Anita, can you repeat with me? El primer verbo. Check, checked, checked. Check, check, check. Okay, good. Ahora agreguemosle un sonidito extra que es un t. t, t. Checked. Check. Very good, exactly. So check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Check. It's como una check. I didn't say that. No, lo hizo super bien. You did it nicely. So solamente, let's, let's repeat it. Checked. Uh, guys, next one. Verify, verified, verified. Eh, Guadalupe, verified. Verified. So your lips moving, pero está mute. <laughs> Verified, verified. Sorry. Verified, verified, verified. Okay, amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, Mabel? Verified, verified, verified. Perfect. Thank you. That's great. Good. Uh, Clary? Okay, Miss. Verified, verified, verified. Perfect. There we go. Exactly. The others are not very difficult. Because so let's come up, go went going take took taken make made made do did done have had had so los más difícil pueden ser un poquito los regular verbs now that we have checked these verbs vamos a practicar un poquito this conversation en el que tenemos los verbos que acabamos de ver okay so I need just two big teams. I'm not going to have volunteers. <laughs> I think I will big start teacher. with big teams. Oh, big thank teacher. you. Thank you for victimizing. <laughs> no, gracias por ser voluntarios. Uh, Richard, I think you yes. can look. Y escuché a alguien más, but I'm not sure. Me, teacher. Thank you, Clary. You can okay. help me with George, estoy, please. Estoy mordido, estoy mordido. Excuse me? Estoy dolido porque se me olvidó el abecedario. Ok, ok. <laughs> no, no worries. So, ayúdame con Luke, please. Luke. Ok. Well, Luke, what do you drink? Again, <laughs> I drink coffee. Uh, coffee. Yes. Which, uh, I need coffee. For which? The computer. George. <laughs> Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. Uh, that's true, but uh, what about the connection? Have you checked all day? Tablets are, are put. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her 
Kidman. Yeah, I heard that has they maintain my maintenance. My, como? Maintenance. Maintenance. A uh, team replaced the battery. No, they haven't. My boss sent them a um, memo. Memo every week. I see. By day, why they take the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Very good job. So, vamos a repetir solamente esas palabras one more time. So we have checked. Check. 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 Como check, ¿verdad? Luego le agrego una T. Check. 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 The other one is reemplazar. Replaced. 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 Con una T al final. Replaced. 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 Very good. There we go. Good, good, good. Okay. So let's take a look at what they are saying here. So what, what are they talking about? What are they discussing? First, uh, they are talking about the problems. Le dice like, okay, it won't turn on, pero le empieza a hacer preguntas, right? So qué preguntas le hace para verificar? What are some of the questions the person asks? ¿Qué es lo que debe de revisar? What do they have to check? The connection. Very good, the connection. ¿Cuál fue la preguntita que le hizo? What was the question? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Exactly, have you checked all the cables? ¿Qué es lo pre primero que preguntamos cuando alguien le dice, uh, esto no funciona? Y ya lo conectaste, <laughs> right? Y ya lo encendiste. So the person is asking those things. Have you checked all the cables? Revisaste que todo esté conectado. Have you checked... All the cables are plugged in, right? Um, and the person says, we haven't verified the rest of the computers. But Anna has the same problem. Y luego le pregunta nuevamente, has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? Ya no sobre si usted lo hizo, sino el departamento. Has the maintenance team replaced the battery, etc. So están hablando like about serious topics. But today we are going to check this topic that is called present perfect para verificar o para hacer una lista. Let's take a look at this. Vamos a seleccionar la respuesta correcta. Circle the correct words to complete the statements. Number one, have or has they checked the system? ¿Cuál sería la más apropiada? What do you think? Have they or has como tercera persona they? Has. has. Have. Have they, miss? Have they, has, utilice has para tercera persona. He, she, is the past. Todavía no, todavía no. Ya vamos a ver por qué. Wait a second. No, so, la primera, has, porque tenemos they, right? Number two, Mary, ahora sí es tercera persona. Mary has, or Mary has. has. Mary has. Mary no, has. Mary has. Mary have, have the same problem with her computer. Pero Mary es tercera persona. So, third person, he, she, and he. Mary has, has. Mary has, has, has. has, has, has. Mm -hmm. Now, number three. I have a question for you. Our boss, de cuantos jefes hablo? How many bosses? Only one. Varios, 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 Pongámosle atención a vos, a esta palabrita que está a la par. Vos es uno, o sea, tercera persona. Our boss has sent or sent. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar? Vamos a utilizar la tercera, eh, el pasado participio del verbo send. ¿Y cuál es? ¿Cuál de los dos? Send or sent. Send. 
send for, for me is send because to use has. Exactly. Es la segunda, sent, con la T al final. Sent a letter to the IT department. So veamos este tema. Let's check this topic really quick. All right. And this is a present perfect. ¿Para qué utilizo present perfect? Lo usamos para unfinished actions or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. ¿A qué se refiere eso? Para hacerlo más sencillo, lo uso para experiencias. I use this topic para hablar de lo que yo he hecho en mi vida, right? Cosas que yo tal vez hice antes, probably things that I did in the past, pero que todavía yo lo puedo hacer. So experiences, cosas que aún no han terminado. So, veamos un poquito cuál es la estructura para que podamos nosotros utilizarla. Um, it says here, vamos a utilizar el subject como I, you, she, pero en auxiliares tenemos dos auxiliares, have en has. ¿Por qué se llaman auxiliares y no solo un verbo? Porque acá ya no significa tener. So please have that in mind. Cuando ustedes vean un pasado participio, es decir, el verbo taken, el verbo going, o un verbo con ed, y a la par vean el have or, o el has antes, no es tener, sino que es presente perfecto para experiencia. So, ya vamos a ver cómo eh, we use it. So, vamos a usar auxiliaries y luego el pasado participio de los verbos. For example, number one says, I have checked the reports. Tengo have, pero luego tengo un verbo con ed. Significa que no dice yo tengo. ¿Cómo lo puedo traducir? ¿Cómo lo entiendo? How do you understand? I have checked the report. Tengo que revisar los reportes. Mm, el have ya perdió el significado de tener. Tiene otro significado. Debo, he debo. revisado, he revisado los He revisado, he revisado. He revisado. Exactly, he revisado. So, esto es como he. He hecho, he tomado, he bebido, he ido, he terminado. So, todo lo que usted diga, eh, this is the one. When you say, for example, has completado la tarea. So, has completado, has ido, eh, as, todos los, todas las posibilidades de ado, edo, ido es este tiempo. This is the one that we use. ¿Qué quiero decir he tenido? Exactamente esto. I have had. Like, if I ask you, hey Moses, ¿alguna vez ha tenido un, un perro o un gato? Have you ever had a cat or have you ever had a dog? And you say, sí, yo he tenido un perro. Entonces, esto es exactamente para eso, you know, to talk about those experiences. So, ¿Cómo voy a armarla? Let's take a look. So, I have checked the reports. Es yo he revisado. The second, they have replaced the battery. ¿Cómo entiendo esta? They have replaced the battery. Oh, sorry. They haven't. They have not replaced they use... the battery. ¿Cómo la comprendo? Ellos no han tenido reemplazo de batería. Pero recordemos que have ya no significa... No, han que... reemplazado la batería. Ellos no han reemplazado. Este es A. Ajá, la like A, E, AN. Ok. Ellos no han reemplazado. Ya se perdió el significado de have. This is why eh, vamos, a tener, a, vamos a ponerle mucha atención. ¿Qué es a la par? Yes. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me. En, en, en la parte, en la parte, sí, creo que sí, creo que si no me equivoco, en el lenguaje, eh, en el español, están las famosas preposiciones, entonces esta parte sale siendo como que si fueran ellas pero solo que en inglés que es cuando dice A, ante, bajo, cabe con, contra, que se utilizan mm -hmm. todas esas esas, no, en parte de, eh, esta viene siendo como parte de, de, del inglés, que el house está diciendo que han, he tenido eh, viene siendo como una parte no, de hecho no es una preposición en, en español, si no me equivoco se llama plus cuan perfecto el cual nunca usamos In Spanish, to be honest with you, no los conozco that much, not this way, uh, porque el uso es diferente. We use them in a different way. Y no estudiamos mucha gramática en Spanish. Okay. Uh, pero, pero sí, hay un, hay un tiempo gramatical in Spanish. Ahora usted quiere tramitar un crédito, entonces le pide una copia del recibo. Creo que alguien me, me dejó activado el micrófono. So, um, I mean, sí existe un tiempo, but pretty much nosotros usamos el AE, you know. Yo en, tú has, el a, nosotros hemos, ustedes han. That is the idea with present perfect. So this is why, uh, um, oh. okay. 
Extraño. Okay. So what about this one? If I tell you, for example, she has explained her situation. ¿Qué entiendo con esto? What do you understand by she has explained her situation? Ella ha explicado su situación. Exacto. Ella ha explicado, right? And the other one, the team has not had that kind of problem. ¿Qué entendemos por the team has not had that kind of problem? El, grupo El equipo no ha tenido ningún tenido. tipo de problema. Exactly, el, el, como que el team, right? The team no ha tenido ese tipo de problemas. So es como no ha tenido, no ha ido, no ha comprendido. That is the idea. So let's go ahead and let's practice a little bit. Eh, first, vamos a, a crear un par de ejemplos para que nos, eh, we get familiar with this, right? And then vamos a um, completar lo que tenemos acá. So talking about a structure, what do I have? I'm going to have a subject. Voy a tener have. Again, have ya no significa tener, yo tengo, él tiene, no here, sino es un a, right? O has para tercera persona. Luego el pasado participio, past participle form. Eh, ¿Cómo me voy a saber cuál es el pasado participio? Guys, hay que aprendernos los verbos. We are going to memorize those verbs. Eh, anteriormente les he compartido una listita, se los voy a compartir nuevamente para que les quede por ahí o la imprima, right? So, right now, vamos a utilizar los que acabamos de ver. Si se pueden otro, that's perfect. No, no worries. So, first participle and the complement. Complement. And there we go, right? So, for example, si usted quiere decir, um, yo ya he enviado mi reporte, right? So, that would be, I have, yo he enviado. And I have the verb send. Pero como yo no puedo utilizar el verbo normal, sino el pasado participio, the past, the past participle is sent. I have sent the report. Y eso es todo. Yo he enviado mi report. Right? If I want to say, for example, yo he hablado con mi jefe del, no sé, de la promoción. So I have. Y tengo la, el verbo speak. ¿Alguien se recuerda del participio? Speak. Spoke. Spoken, Miss. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so there you go. I like it. I have spoken to my boss about about the promotion. Exactly. There we go. There we go. So, si se fijan, es como todos los elementos. It has it right here. I have. Se lo puedo mover para que lo puedan ver. I have spoken. There you go. So, ayúdenme con tres ejemplos, please. Write three examples. Sobre cosas que ustedes han hecho ahorita, you know, las cosas que ya probablemente ya hayan hecho this week, this month, ahora, you know, cosas que ya hayamos completado. So I'll give you some minutes. Me indican, please, si necesitan eh, more clarification here, si necesitan Teacher. ayudar con esto o estamos bien. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Dígame, dígame, tell me. ¿Hay alguna forma corta de, de utilizar ese I have? Um, yeah, there is a contraction, uh, but to be honest with you, no se utiliza tanto como la forma larga, but of course, for example, um, I'm very lazy today, I don't want to say I have. <laughs> so, la contracción es am. Solo se corta. So, absent. Absent the report. I've spoken to my boss. I've had dinner already. I've spoken to my sister. Of, so es como que le vibre el labio. Of. 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 So of. I, como I have, of. Mm -hmm. But yes, it is possible. Richard. Yes, Richard. Me tengo, bueno, no, no entendí mucho cuando dijo que have y has, has pasaba a ser en español, bueno, en español, ¿verdad? Por decirlo así. A, E y A, nada más, ¿verdad? Eh, todas, las, todas las conjugaciones de nuestro español. The thing is that in English, solo son dos conjugaciones. Have and has. Y ahí terminó. En Spanish, tenemos siete conjugaciones. Yo he, tú has, el a, nosotros hemos, ellos han, ustedes han. Yeah, so, son siete, me falta la de vosotros. Um, so, yeah. 
I mean, el have y el has toma el lugar de todas esas conjugaciones. Sí, sí, correcto. Yo eso, eso sí lo comprendo. O sea, vaya, a lo que me refiero es que yo me voy a expresar con estas dos preposiciones, con estas dos, dos palabras, cuál es el significado en español. Eso fue lo que no me quedó muy claro. Entonces, mm. porque yo, yo solo logré captar a, e y an en español, por supuesto, por decirlo así. Pero las demás sí no lo voy a copiar. Mm, I'm not sure about your question. What do you mean? Lo que pasa, Richard, no, creería que es porque okay. estamos traduciendo. What, what I understand es que no, estamos no, traduciendo, ajá, like, y como cada una de las. Like, ¿Cómo puede sonar? No, 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 lo que pasa es que quiero, quiero, quiero guardarlo, quiero, perdón, quiero ponerlo acá para decir, ah, bueno, entonces voy a, voy a decir esta, esta parte en español, por decirlo así, pero tengo que ponerlo obvio en inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, para no equivocarme, porque... Eh, I understand, I understand your point. Solo que con esto sí, quizás le recomendaría eh, que no las escribiera, porque... No, yo para tener mi vocabulario, por decirlo así. Uh, ok, ok, uh -huh. sure. Lo que pasa es que cuando empezamos a hacer eso, eh, empezamos a pensar mucho en español. Porque uh -huh. eh, nos quedamos como en la parte de, de español como suena inglés y no siempre va a ser así. So, uh, this no, is my, no. my recommendation, pero claro, yo se las comparto, no worries. Oh, okay. So, we can have, I have, you have, she has, he has, um, it has, uh, they have, and we have there you go those are in english so in spanish okay okay, solamente okay, hace okay. El cambio. Uh -huh. so in yes. spanish you can just make the change like yo okay. el to ask mm -hmm. so that would be ah, exactly okay okay okay, okay. Suficiente, claro. yeah so look at that, that's my personal recommendation eh, quizás no lo traduzcamos tanto you know porque um, si no puede ser más difícil después eh, intentar soltarse y dejar de pensar en español como le llamamos <risa> but, but, but you're fine sí, sí, lo no, único que no. es lo, lo gusta como, como tener eh, la base, por decirlo uh -huh. así, ¿verdad? porque si la claridad. Me, quiero, ajá, me quiero expresar y digo ah, no, no, pero si voy a decir esta palabra y se dice en inglés, se dice de otra manera uh -huh. entonces mejor decir lo correcto y no se la dejo para no caer en el error y siempre seguir con lo mismo, ¿verdad? Porque, ¿verdad? Es la manera de dejar eso ya del español y irme adaptando más al, al inglés, o sea, dejarlo, de decirlo por... Yeah, sure, sure, That, that's totally yeah. fine. You're Thank good, you. you're good. You're welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, so, ¿me ayudan con algunos ejemplos? Can you help me with some of your examples? ¿Tienen algunos? Sí, sí. Do you need more time? Yes, Mabel? Hay que decir las teacheros, se las escribimos. Um, dígame, tell me. <laughs> I want to listen, guys. I want to listen to you. Pero me corrige porque no estoy bien segura. Por supuesto, no se preocupe. Vaya. I have to wash dishes. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me just stop you there. I got what is going on. Eh, estamos utilizando el have como yo tengo que. Okay? Entonces, acá la idea de utilizar el pasado participio es para decir yo he lavado los platos. So, let me help you un poquitín, ok, con esa parte. Sure. Tenemos el verbo, Carlos. Hey, hello. Ya identificó las voces. <laughs> How are you? Yes. Uh, I, I have a sample. Uh, for example, my day has been very hard. Oh, that's a good one. So, my day has been, mm -hmm. como acá, right? So my day has been really hard. Very good, very good. Eh, Pedrina, abonando un poquito con su ejemplo. That was a good one. Solo vamos a, ir a, a quitarle el tú que usted tiene. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y le ponemos, I have washed the dishes. Lo que quiere decir ahora es, yo he lavado los trastes. Yo he lavado los trastes. Ah, I... For example, teacher, I have played the soccer for a lot of time. Very good. Time. Yes, I have played soccer. Yo he jugado eh, fútbol. Yes. Yes, yes. Anybody else? Cosas que han hecho, remember. Cosas que ya hicieron. Sí, teacher. Yeah, go ahead. I have visited my brother. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a very good example. Good pronunciation. Good. Anybody else? I have arrived early today. 
Really? <laughs> okay, that's good. I have never arrived early <laughs> to my house. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Teacher, I have read my book. Uh, okay, very good. So, luego le cambiamos la pronunciación al pasado, right? So, I have read, but lo demás, very good. Good, no, not very good, good, good. Yeah. Teacher. Yes? Yes. I have drunk my, my medicine. Ah, okay. Jocelyn, hello. <laughs> Siento que hello. me lo dicho, hello. So, good evening. I have taken my medicine. I have drank it. Good, good, good. I like it. Now, guys, ahora vamos a hacer un poquito de cosas que no han terminado. ¿Cómo digo lo que yo no he hecho? Very easy. I have. Ahora le voy a agregar una forma negativa. Y eso es todo. I haven't. I haven't finished my career. Exactly. I haven't finished my career. Siempre me he pasado a participar. Very good. No he pagado. Este mes no he pagado mis residuos. I haven't paid my bills. All right. ¿Qué no han hecho todavía? What is something you haven't done? I have married. I haven't married uh, now. No me he casado. <laughs> oh, you haven't gotten married? Okay. Yes. Okay, so you haven't gotten married. I like that example. I, I haven't traveled in the world. I haven't traveled around the world. Good. Le podemos agregar la palabra yet al final para decir todavía. So I haven't traveled around the world yet. <laughs> I haven't gotten married. No me he casado. Yet. Si tienen esperanza, claro. <laughs> if you still want to get married, le podemos agregar el yet ahí al final, right? So remember, here, le puedo agregar el yet para indicar algo que yo espero, algo que tengo esperanza. Por, no, es que me, no es que me esté riendo, guys. No. I know you, ustedes sí tienen esperanzas. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, le agregamos el yet para decir todavía, right? So I haven't sent the report yet. Significa que yo espero enviarlo. I haven't spoken to my boss about the promotion. Si le agrego yet, es todavía no. I haven't washed the dishes yet. Todavía no he lavado los trastes. Eh, voy a escribir el ejemplo de, de René. I like that example. So it's like, no me he casado todavía. I haven't. Y voy a utilizar el pasado participio del verbo get. Get, got, gotten. I haven't gotten married. Y como tengo esperanza de algún día, I haven't gotten married yet, right? So I can use yet también para ese tipo de oraciones. To say, todavía no. Um, more examples. ¿Alguien tiene otro ejemplo? Do you have another example here? Me, teacher. Yeah, please. I have not prepared uh, the presentation. Yet. <laughs> okay. No, no lo voy a hacer. <laughs> no, no. no, no. <laughs> Okay, so ni esperanza. Okay, right. any other example, guys? What is something you haven't done? Yes? yes? I, I haven't buy my new car. You haven't? Buy? Oh. My new car. Mm, okay, okay. Pero tiene esperanzas, right? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, exactly. So tenemos ese verbo, yes. right? Y el pasado participio de buy es bought. So, utilizamos. Ah, bought. Uh -huh. I haven't bought my car yet. Todavía no lo he comprado. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. Anything okay. else? ¿Qué no han hecho todavía, guys? No he comprado mi casa todavía. I haven't bought my house yet. ¿Qué más no han hecho? What haven't you done? Anybody else? I haven't, I haven't visited my sister this month. Oh, okay. Yeah, me neither. Sure. I haven't visited my sister. Sure. I, yes. I, I mean, teacher. Yes, I, I, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, the how not haven't mm -hmm. and send the raw material to the project. Yes. What? Oh, no, lo enviar. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. Today, don't, don't have time for the send the material, oh. raw material at the project. Got it, got it. What happened is that le podemos agregar esta palabrita que está al final yet para decir como todavía. Pero yo sí espero hacerlo. So, like, I haven't sent the material yet. Todavía no lo he enviado, right? Está esperando por ahí. Y pues, si no se la quito, and that, that, that's just fine, right? Okay, guys. Eh, preguntita. I haven't. I haven't taken my vacation yet. Very good. When, when, when are you having your vacation? Um, uh, August. Ah, next month. Just like four weeks. <laughs> and you're good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So we use yet para cosas que todavía no han pasado, pero yo espero que sí pasen, right? O cosas que están pendientes. Mm -hmm. Very good, guys. I hope. Yeah. Well, I haven't taken my vacation yet, but la tengo la próxima semana. So <laughs> I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I am very excited. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. Vamos a completar some exercises. No sé si alguien más tiene dudas. Questions, doubts. Guys, no se vayan a quedar con las dudas, please. Si hay algo que todavía you don't get from this topic, let me know y lo revisamos otra vez, no hay problema. So here we have write affirmative, affirmative and negative sentences using the prompts. ¿Qué es lo que yo le tengo que poner atención? Sujeto, auxiliar have or has, luego el pasado participio de los verbos. And uh, for example, vamos con los verbos que tenemos acá, right? To make it easier. Uh, number one, ¿cuál es el verbo? What is the verb in the first? Change. Change. Ok. Quiero hacerlo pasado participio. Change es regular. ¿Qué le agrego a regulares? Changes. E -D. E -D. E -D. E -D. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Number two. What is the verb in number two? Stop. 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 Ay, pero si se fijan, tiene consonante vocal, consonante. ¿Qué le voy, le voy a agregar algo más? Duplicamos la P. There you go. Le voy a duplicar la P y luego. Ah, it is. Perfect, perfect. Number three. ¿Cuál es el verbo en la tres? What is the verb in number three? Fix. Fix. It's regular. So le digo. ED. ED. Very good. Number four. Plug. La cuatro estaba en la conversación anterior. So, verb, plug, this verb, is in the previous conversation. So, me voy atrás, right? ¿Y cómo se deletrea? ¿O qué le agrego? It's here, right here. G, Le voy a agregar una G, extra G, exactly. So, double G, and then ED. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, make. ¿Cuál es el past participle of make? Made. Made. Good. And check. Check it. <laughs> exactly. So check easy. There you go. So guys, les voy a dar cinco minutitos. I'll give you five minutes para que creamos las oraciones. Remember, necesito el auxiliar también. So le vamos a agregar have or has. Depende si es tercera persona or the correct conjugation. So cinco minutos, five minutes. Si tienen dudas, si eh, se llegan a trabar en alguna, you know, si, if you get stuck, let me know y la revisamos, you know, todos juntos.
Two more minutes. Uh, are we ready? Is everybody ready? Necesitan más tiempo? I'll give you two more minutes. Chair. Wait, no me deja, permítame. Ah, okay, okay, qué raro, no me deja, unmute. Yes, Richard, tell me. Eh, eh, one, one question uh, is, uh, for example, eh, Mario has child del puse. So Mario has changed la primera, right? Number one. Yes, yes. Es que, es que, se, es que se, me, se me cortó el internet y entonces voy entrando. Eh, sí, no, pero de hecho sí. That would be the correct form. So Mario has, la voy a escribir. I'm going to write it down. Second. So that would be. So. Mario. Has. Porque es él. Exactly. Mario has changed the yeah, Yes. Okay. Very good. Oh. Okay. Ooh. okay. Push it. Push it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, exactly. Okay. That would be the Thank one. You. Thank you. Guys, hagámoslo juntos. Let's yeah, do it together. It. And so we, we like correct them together. That's just fine. Yeah. So what about number two, the production, like when you want to say, la producción no ha terminado. So the production. A ver. Pero la producción es singular o plural? Es, has, has. Singular. 
singular. So the production singular. has. has so yes, yes. No. Pero yo también puedo hacer, si sí puedo hacer la contracción, and that's okay. The production hasn't. Y luego, stop. Ay, es que no right? es negativa, no me había fijado ahí. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, okay, okay. No, but it's fine. Voy a hacer aquí en el libro para guardarlo. Mm -hmm. It's just fine, no worries. Okay, ¿quién tiene la tres? Who has number three? Acá les ayudamos, guys. So, anybody? Yes, thank you, Wadley. Mm -hmm. uh, our team have fit, fitted the equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, sería so have or has? ¿Cuál de las dos? Have. Okay. Um, have. So, so, vamos a revisar si es plural o singular. Si es plural, vamos a usar have. Pero si no lleva a esta, si es singular, utilizamos has. So, here it says our team. Eh, no le pongamos atención a our, porque esto no me dice si es singular o plural. Le voy a poner atención a esta palabrita de acá que dice team, right? So, team, uno o varios. Varios. Uh, y singular. Si le... Y si le agrego oh. esto. Uh -huh. Son sí. varios. Si lleva ese, son varios. Pero sin, sin ese, yes. team, es la singular. palabra team, ok, es uno, uh -huh. right? Es un equipo, un grupo. Es solo uno. So, como es uno, voy a utilizar has. Exacto, pero el equipo es solo uno. So, our team has fixed the equipo. Exactly. So the, the, they have fixed the equipment. There you go. Very good. Thank you so much. Number four. Who has number four? Four, four, four. Any volunteer? Jenny has or has not logged the record. Okay, yeah, so she has not logged double G, right? Logged the cord. Yes, 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 yes. Sure. Hmm? Have a question. Yes, tell me. Yo le puse she y en la primera puse he. No hay problema. Lo mismo. She has not. Y en la primera, he has changed. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you mean that le cambió Mario por la palabra he? Ajá, uh -huh, y no. Jenny por la palabra she. No, no, no. Da igual, ¿verdad? Yeah, exactly. Son lo mismo. I mean, puede usar cualquiera de las dos. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's right. No sé por qué estoy escribiendo todo. <laughs> You're totally right. Exactly. So, she is just fine. Okay. Number okay. five. Who has number five, guys? The secretary make enough copies. So, yeah, you're right. I haven't thought about it. So she has <laughs> make it. El pasado de May? El pasado participio? Oh, May. May. Mhm. No copies. copies. Very good. So she has made enough copies. Y la última, guys, the technician. So what do you have in here? The technician? Well, digamos que es un he. Let's say that it's a he. So he has checked the connector. Great. Very good. Very good. That's the way we use it, right? Solamente utilizamos has or have, depende del, el, um, del auxiliar que tengamos. Here, todas fueron terceras personas, and that is perfect. Preguntas, guys, do you have any question with this? Estamos bien? Are we good? So let's continue. If there are problems, we don't stop, and then we like check this topic again. So, puedo seguir con la siguiente slide. Can I continue with the next slide? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to erase this. Okay, guys. Very good. Now I have a little exercise for you, and this is the following. Vamos a crear un poquito de preguntas. Eh, ya le inicia para que sea más fácil. Here, in yellow, tienen algunos verbos. En caso necesiten, you don't remember. So you have a couple of vocabulary here. For example, we have read, read, study, studying, break, broken, come, come, by, bought, fall, fallen, fell, felt, give, given, no, none. Remember, estos verbos no es pasado. Este verbo es el pasado participio. 
que solo lo usamos con el have o con el has. So, here tenemos un par de inicios, pero necesito su ayuda completándolo. Have you broken? Has quebrado, pero necesito que me le pongan el qué, right? Have you lost? Has perdido, pero me falta el qué. Have you lost a shoe <laughs> in the middle of the street? Has perdido dinero. Have you lost eh, money? Has perdido tu almuerzo. Have you ever lost eh, your lunch? Yeah. Have you eaten? Your dog. <laughs> your dog. Alguien me ha perdido un perro. <laughs> Have you ever lost a dog? No. Ah, ok. No, pero... <laughs> Ajá, pero no, no sé, se pierden. Se salen corriendo también. Yeah, but it could be, it could be. Have you eaten? Have you done? Has hecho. Like, have you done karate? Have you done yoga? Has hecho algo bueno? Has hecho algo malo? I don't know. Have you arrived? Have you complained? So, acá tengo solo un par de ejemplos. Eh, los pueden retomar o pueden hacer los propios, right? Les voy a pedir cinco. I'm going to ask you to complete five. Cinco preguntitas utilizando this beginning o le cambian el verbo. Por ejemplo, no quiero utilizar broken, pero voy a utilizar el verbo eh, bought, right? Have you bought? Has comprado. Um, no sé, has comprado algo recientemente. Have you bought something recently? Have you bought something this month? Eh, fallen, de caerse. ¿Te has caído? You know, de las escaleras en la oficina. <laughs> Have you fallen in your office? Have you fallen um, in the bathroom? So, I don't know, okay? Uh, I, I will give you some minutes. Me ayuden con, con los cinco. Solo son cinco preguntitas. Guys, let's go ahead. One more minute, guys.
Guys, are you ready? Necesitan más tiempo? Do you need more time? One minute, two minutes? Oh, ya tienen cinco. Do you have five questions? Brian, Renee. Marvin? Yes, yes. Yes? Okay, okay, great. Thank you for the confirmation. Guys, what about the rest? Anita? Only, only three teacher. Only three. Okay, no worries. I'll give you like some more time now. Uh, Ignacio? Do you need more time? There is a, uh, only one minute, please. Okay, sure, no problem. That's okay. <laughs> Norbert, hello, estamos listos, Richard. Yes. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Yes, so, I'm ready. Uh, Ignacio? I'm ready. Okay, yes, so amazing. I'm ready. Amazing, amazing. So, guys, uh, let's do the following. Vamos a practicar un poquito, but I would like you to practice listening comprehension. Necesito que practiquemos un poquito de listening. So that means, vamos a ir a los grupitos por un par de minutos and uh, listen to your classmates. Escuchan sus respuestas, you know their questions. Um, please, no les pidan, ¿qué dijiste? <laughs> eh, de, ¿Cómo en español? ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> okay, try to use your English. Like, can you repeat, please? What do you want to say? Utilizamos las formas, you know, to communicate sin utilizar español. So, guys, let's do it. Um, give information, you know. Remember that puedo responder con yes, I have, no, I haven't. Yes, we're so. That's it. Let's get going, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
I, uh, I, I, with, with my friend, with my brother, with my friend, I tra travels that play. I remember I visited a different place and I like that country. I like that country. Um, the another question uh, how, <laughs> I, but, how did you work in another place before? In another country or, or? No, another another place. For example, now you work in, a, I don't know. For example, <laughs> in my case, I, I, I work uh -huh. in a GL Salvador. I like that. <laughs> yeah. But before, I, I didn't company? work. You mean like in another yes. company? Have you worked in another yes. company? Okay. Yes, I I had in in the Mac factory. Um, Twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, that's okay. Yes. In this company, I had uh, 20 years. 20 years, wow. Yes. For the next uh, February, I, I, I had 20 years. So in the previous company, you worked for 10 years. And in this current no. company? In the previous company, I worked uh, two years. <laughs> ah, only two. Mm -hmm. In this company, I, I worked 20 years. My goodness, 20 years. Wow, that's a life. <laughs> yes. Okay, that, that's been like a long time. Wow, I, I admire you because it is difficult, but I think your company offers maybe a stability, right? Yes. Um, another another question. I had a question for you. Tell me. Have you given the flower for the birthday uh, to your mom? My mom? Uh, no, I haven't. I have uh, invited uh, some place uh, and I eat, 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 eat when, with her. Okay. That's very interesting. That's a very good question. Well, Lupe, what about you? Have you ever given uh, flowers like to your mom or somebody special? Um, no. Flowers, no. Another, well, another gift, another present, mm -hmm. for example? For example, a, a blouse for my sister. Glass. Blouse. Oh, uh, blouse. <laughs> and I heard, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a person in my glass. Okay. No, but, but I mean, <laughs> that, that can also be possible. Okay. Okay. That sounds great. Guys, what about you? Mm -hmm. Carlos, Sandrita, yo creo que Brenda es un poquito mal de salud, but, um, but I don't yeah. know if you guys were there. Hi, Carlos. How are you? Uh, for example, how you ate uh, sushi in uh, Guadalupe? Sushi, I haven't. I don't like it. I uh, have. You, Brenda. I think Brenda is a little bit of health, so she was not oh, feeling But I have uh, Sandrita here too. And Renee as well. I haven't. I have. I haven't. I haven't. Yeah. That's that's the esa comida. That's food. Sushi. Yes. Teacher, in la, Just being. The answer is in present or, or in past. You can answer like yes, I have. So, si le preguntan, have you? Puede ser yes, I have. Mm -hmm. uh, 
o, o como lo acaba de hacer eh, René, la, de la respuesta en pasado. That's okay too. Okay. You know, um, I, don't, I don't like sushi that much, but like three or four years ago, I ate uh, in a place in Antigua, Buscatlán. Um, it's like, um, I, I don't know how to explain it because I don't know too much, but the place is, uh, I think it's my fan, but the place guys is, oh my goodness, very close to Ceiba de Guadalupe. So after Ceiba de Guadalupe, there is like, Las terrazas. A, is that Las Terrazas? But there is like a shopping center, like a shopping, a small shopping mall. And um, you see, um, I think Burger King. I don't remember the name of the place, but it's after the, the yeah, it's like behind Uka, behind a German school. Do you know the place? Do you know the area? Don, Don Lee. Don Lee. No, no, wait. Don no, no, no. Where is Don Bosco? No. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think you refer to a different area. I'm talking about behind Uca. Well, the thing is that behind Uca and behind um, this German school, there is a place where they sell sushi. Uh, so they have tables, but tables this high. I mean, just sit on the floor. And it's very interesting because you sit on the floor, the table is like super, super, you know, low. <laughs> and, and the sushi is good. The best sushi and maybe the one of the few, the few times that I have eaten sushi. I don't know. I don't remember the place. Tell me the name is interesting because that, it's that is the, the old problem. culture. I don't Japanese. remember. <laughs> yeah, because it is my friend's favorite. Uh, I don't remember. So the table is, is it slow? The, the, the table is. The Japanese. Uh, in the, the table is like this in, high, you know, very, very mm -hmm. low. And what I like the most is that they give you a pillow, they give you like a cushion, but you sit on the floor. So people, everybody was on the floor. That was very cool. That was interesting for me. But I don't remember that, if that was Sushi King. I don't remember. Maybe that really is not. Good. Be that's a good visit at that place because it's, you know, a uh, different kind of cultures. Yeah, the, and you the, know, the, the drinks, normally when you go to a place, they offer Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Fanta, right? Yes. But the drinks there were different. They had the, I don't know, no, I mean, they, they were sodas, but the soda was, I don't know, in Korean, in Japanese, in Chinese, I don't know the language. And, but it and was the chef are Salvadorian or of Chinese or Japanese. I didn't see them. I because my friend was like, hey, let's go there. The sushi is good. So I was just like <laughs> following her. Yeah. Please call you, call to you friends for the name. <laughs> but the only thing I can tell you is if you go, if you are going to Antigua Cuscatlan, uh, it's exactly after the, the German school. So you go past the German school, there is um, like a little shopping mall, like very small shopping mall. And next to the place, you find a restaurant. So it's very easy to find, but that was interesting because it was, you know, like that. Uh, what about you guys? What places do you recommend? Or where have you eaten some good sushi? Well, well I look like you don't like it, right? I don't like it. <laughs> in my case, you eat, you eat in my case. Excuse me? In Guadalupe, eat, eat fish. Oh. Yes, I like. Fish. In my case, I had never eaten uh, sushi, but I recommended, uh, for example, uh, if you want to, to eat a uh, steak, Steak is como carne, verdad? Yes, steak. Uh -huh. Steak, uh, uh, como se, uh, ceviche, ceviche Palermo, because as I visited that place with my mother, I, I went 
<laughs> I remember one day I celebrate the Mother's Day with her in that place, and I and I like that and I like that the the steak, and I like that play because it's uh is 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 very interesting for me because it's it's, it's do encerrado como un lugar encerrado como se diría like a closed place closed place yes. That, but I I like because it's a open open place, and you and you can and you can drink a different kind of the drink the the, the that's that's a good place and, and the is I, I consider is a cheaper uh, no es tan caro for the world so no it's not yeah. so expensive you said ceviches Palermo. Ceviche Palermo. I like that place. Is that in San Salvador? Where is that? It's in uh, in front of the UCA UCA City, the university. Uh, when you when you uh, uh, I don't know. But you mean in front, know. like like. Cross. All good places are in Uca. <laughs> yes. Palermo. <laughs> because in front of Uca there is like a footbridge. Está la pasarela. There is a footbridge. Yes. Footbridge and, and then, then está then you, Edcom. You Edcom. Yes, Edcom. Edcom yes. Yes. Uh -huh. You you walk a uh, one one block and you find a. Puma, uh, the, ga the gas station, gas station, oh, be the behind the gas station, yes, behind, atrás, creo que, behind the gas station, <laughs> that is, is, is the Ceviche Palermo. So what, what okay. you're saying is from Arbol de la Paz, it is before, before getting to get home, before getting to uh, Puma. Yes, before getting to Puma, yes. Okay, before getting to Después, Puma. Yeah. Oh, after. No, yes, after. after. Después, you after. said after. Puma. Yes. But you said after it's Puma. Behind. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, is it only a steak? Uh, I don't know because it's when when I visit that place, I I prove I just I you just prove that. So you just order the steak. The, yeah. Yes. But in other place I like to visit it is uh, you know, uh Neptuno because I like the zoo. <laughs> yes. Oh no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it's because of the soup. <laughs> no, yes. When my the, no, también de vir. That place. The happy moment. Famous. The happy moment. I don't know why, but I have heard like a lot of people like that place. But for me. Uh, yeah, a couple of people say like, oh, Neptune is good. For me, it's... Go up to the Cuscatlan Stadium. Yes, I, I, I visit that place because I like the uh, the mariscos, like sopa de mariscos. Oh, it's okay. full. I like the stiff food. I, I, I like the stiff food. Uh, I like the... When I visit that place, just uh -huh. buy that, that, that soup. Okay. Solo compro la sopa. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no. yeah, <laughs> y, la, y la bebida para acompañar la sopa. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, you go for the beer, but you know, aprovechando, you get the soup. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, very interesting. I actually, I didn't like not too much about that. All right. Very cool. Thank you, guys. It was very nice listening to you. Unfortunately, eh, creo que Sandrita, it's not there. So let, let's go back. Regresamos. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, that was so fast. So thank you guys for coming back. Uh, if you can help me with your camera, that would be wonderful because in that way I can see you. And I'm not like in a blank space. Hey, Marvin. <laughs> thank you. No, que diferente, guys, cuando si se ven. <laughs> This is like really different. Otherwise, I'm like, what's going on? Hi, Jocelyn. Hey. Hi, teacher. Yeah, Miss, gracias por regresar. Before I get to the problems with the audio. But I'm, but yes. I'm happy to see 
you're, you're back. Thank you, though. Eh, let me see. Creo que me faltan algunos. I think I'm missing some. Give me just a sec. Yeah, they are coming back. Hi, everybody, and thank you so much for coming back. Eh, thank you for being here. Eh, so we were like discussing some of these questions that is like very cool. Eh, si me ayudan con su camarita, that would be wonderful because hay, hay rostros que no he visto por días. <laughs> there are some faces I haven't seen in a couple of days, but I, I'm like very happy to, to see you there. So help me out, guys, eh, with some of the questions. ¿Qué preguntas discutieron? Which questions did you discuss? Remember, this is for experiences, cosas que han hecho, things you have done, places you have visited. Uh, que todavía, you know, you can continue visiting them. So um, let me see. Clary, do you have any question for us? Yes, miss. Great. How do you bought an Apple computer? Mm, okay. So how, that, do, you, uh -huh. how do you read email your boss? Okay. So let, let me get the first. Have you bought an Apple computer, right? Okay. What means? Yeah, the first question you said there was, have you bought an Apple computer? Answer? No, 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 uh, just confirming. Esa era la pregunta, right? That was the question. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay, good. Yes, miss. Guys, has, okay. any, has anybody bought a, an Apple computer? I think it's not very common, or is it? Do you have an Apple computer? It's expensive. It is very expensive. I think nobody has bought one. Have you? Marvin? Mabel? Richard? Have you ever bought an Apple computer? Bought it. Yes, I compared. Yes, bought. Have you bought? My computer is uh, Asus. Oh, Ooh, computer but they are good. Your computer is? Lenovo. Oh. Lenovo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have never had an Apple computer. Actually, no sabía. I didn't know they existed uh, because they are not very common in the market. The Mac. Yeah, like Mac, exactly. They are very expensive, too expensive, mm -hmm. I would say. Uh-huh. Yeah. My computer is, I don't know. What brand is my computer? My computer is Dell. My and I computer. think Dell doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Richard? My computer is uh, Toshiba. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, wow. But it's cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you take care of the computers, les pueden durar mucho tiempo. They can last a lot. All right. Uh, Marvin, help us, please. Ayúdanos con una pregunta. What question were you asking? Have you played basketball before? Ooh, has anybody played basketball, guys? Yes. Only yes. Richard? Oh, okay. Carlos, Richard? Gers? Yes, Norbert. Norbert? Okay. I can play basketball. You cannot play basketball? I no. can play basketball, but for funny after. Okay, not professionally, not in a team. Yes, and uh, the playing in park uh, centenary. Okay, you played in the park. Good, okay. good. Okay. No, that's a very good exercise. But are you like tall? Les ayuda a crecer? Did you grow yes, up? Yes, teacher, yes. Oh. Okay. Yes. You continue growing still. Uh, Carlos, what's your height? It's uh, 166. 166? Okay. So you're playing basketball. Anybody else? Guys, yeah. You, the thing is that no tenemos la idea de qué tan altos o qué tan bajitos son, right? <laughs> This is the only thing we have no idea how tall you are. Uh, I, I, I can I can bounce bounce the ball. 
You can't? No. I like it, but I cannot play. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's the only thing. No podemos ver que tenga altos sons. That's so bad. Okay, any other question? Pedrina, Renee, guys, do you have questions for us? I see Renee there. Hi, Renee. Had you ever seen a uh, Rocky IV before? <laughs> the movie. The movie. I like that movie. Okay. It's Rocky IV. Guys, are you into movies? Do you like action movies? Action movies, yes. 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 Have you seen Rocky? Yes. Yes. My, my, my question, uh, a small question is, uh, how do you, how you don't read in a book? Have you read? How you how you don't read a book? Okay, quizás le vamos a quitar el don y le vamos a dejar solo read. Have you read a book? Como has leído, right? So have you read a book? Mm -hmm. Yeah, has leído un libro completo. It could be. So have you ever read a full book? Okay, guys, alguna vez han leído un libro completo? Have you read a book? Yes. But not because of the university, not because it was homework, but because... Oye, 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 así en el librito. <laughs> like the 10 pages. <laughs> the 10 pages yeah. of oye, What book did you read? I recommend uh, the El Asco, se llama de Moya. I, that's a Salvadorian book, right? So I think El Asco is Salvadorian. The winter is is, is Canadian. It is Salvadorian, but it, his life in in Canada. He's lived in Canada. Vive oh. in Canada. Oh, okay. So he's in in Canada. All right, guys. What about the rest of you? Which book have you read? Mabel, are you into reading books? Have you read any book? Yes. Uh, its name is La Changa. La Changa, very interesting. Es un, libro cristiano, es un libro cristiano que habla de un muchacho pandillero que se convirtió. La Changa. Sí. Oh, ok. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that it was a book. That's a very interesting name for a Christian one. Ok, what about the rest? Are you into reading? Guadalupe? Teacher, the name. Teacher, the name. No, yet. The... Teacher, the real, the real my, book. teacher, my book. My book is a uh, luz, luz negra. Oh, okay. That's like a, like a drama. Let me see. Alvaro. Yeah, I don't know how to put it because that's for for plays. So that's not exactly like a drama, you know, it's more como para plays. Okay, that's a very interesting one. Okay, guys. I recommend a movie, but not hoy na, hoy na. <laughs> I'm no, going no, to be the one just I said recommend like... watch a movie. I recommend watching movies. The Morgan Freeman before leaving. What, no is, si the name? Esa película. what is the name again? Eh, before leaving o antes de terminar algo así se llama antes de partir de Morgan Friedman ah ya yeah. a very know. good movie I know, I know. it's a good movie good movie yeah. but I prefer books that's the thing I prefer books rather than movies but but thank you Teacher. for the recommendation I will check it out yes Brian I read the book uh, Cuando lo que Dios hace no tiene sentido. This book, René, give me. Oh, René gave you that book? But he's never read that book. Read that book. <laughs> he's but writing he, for Dr. He didn't, James he didn't read Franco. that book. He didn't Dr. read Dr. James Franco. But, okay, well, how was the book like? Uh, it's a Christian book. Okay. Did you like it? Did you read it? Did you finish it? No, nothing. <laughs> you didn't finish the book. No. Okay, so you. I don't know. I will start process that. This is process the letter. Okay. For example, my 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 favorite book is a uh, Voluntad del Poder of Friedrich Nietzsche. Mm. Is a philosophy. The philosophy. Oh, okay. 
Wow, it's very interesting because you listen to books that are not very common. So not a common novel, but okay. You listen to very interesting ones. I heard a couple of Christian, so I heard a couple of philosophical. Uh, Oyantai, that's not Oyantal or Oyantai. But still, you know, that, that counts as a book and that's Salvadorian. Yeah, that's what as I remember. That was kind of Salvadorian. So very interesting. Um, okay, guys, antes de irnos, tenemos cinco minutitos antes de pasar asistencia, but quiero confirmar los verbos. I want to just make sure that we get the verbs. Let me present um, these again, all right? And I'm going to ask you, no, no, just give me one second. So I'm going to ask you for los pasados participios, for the past participle de los verbos que tenemos por acá. So hold on. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Me, one second. So uh, ya les voy a compartir nuevamente la listita de verbos para que les queden guardados. And you can print it, you can memorize them, please. Eh, y no solo para un módulo, right? <laughs> so we have to memorize it like for longer than that. So eh, repeat with me, please. Vamos a repetir estos and then les se los voy a preguntar. So read, read, read. Read, read, read. Read, read, read. Study, study, study. Study, study, study. study. Mm -hmm. Break, broke, broken. Break, 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 break broken. broken. Mm -hmm. Come came come. Come came come. Came come. Came came come. Okay. Buy bought bought. Buy bought bought. Okay. Uh, fall fell falling. Fall fell falling. Fall, fell, 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 falling. Very good. Feel felt felt. Feel, 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 feel. Feel. Okay, very good. Um, feel, no, that, that we already checked that one. Give, gave, given. Give, give gave, 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 given. 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 Non. No. no. Exactly. So when you want to say like, oh, it's conocido. So he is known, right? Okay, very good. Let me change it. Okay. And let me ask you for some of them. Okay. So guys, help me with this verb. ¿Cuál es el pasado y el pasado participio of the verb buy? Buy. 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 Okay, bought and bought, exactly, no can exactly. no What about read? Read. 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 Good. What is the one for fall? Fall. Fear. Fall. Falling. Okay, falling. falling is good. Y el pasado, yo me caí. Fail. Fear. Fail. Okay, fail. Fall, fell, and falling. Okay. What about give? Give. Giving. Y el pasado? Give. Giving. Gave. 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 Given. Given. Very good. What about no? No. No. New. New. No. 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 New. And none. Very good. Yes, guys. Excellent. Very good job. So, les voy a compartir en un par de minutitos la lista para que la tengan, and we'll check it tomorrow. Um, antes de irnos, please, ayúdenme con la camarita. Help me out with your camera. Let me just take attendance one more time. Eh, Richard, me regala el finalizar diez minutitos, por favor. Can you stay with me just for some minutes? And uh, to, 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 let me just take attendance. Some left. Nineteen. Oh, okay. Ingrid. Oh no, I Okay. Give me one second. 
Hola, mis. Sí, lo estaba buscando porque eh, ya, no, ya no revisé el teléfono. So I didn't know. Pero me alegra que está por acá, mis. I'm super happy you made it. ¿Ya llegó la luz? ¿Es the, the electricity back? Lo vi bien tarde, por eso es que me comenté hasta ahorita. But, 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 but thank you so much. Gracias por estar ahí. And, and ojalá que ya no se le vaya, mis. <laughs> Carga el teléfono. So get your phone ready. Se vaya a después de la medianoche. Yeah. No, sé es que pasó un, un corte de no sé qué, se reventó un... No. Mm, okay, but just in case, you know, nunca sabe más prevenir, right? Thank you so much, though. Eh, Anita, one power outage. That was, that, is, that was a power outage in the real one. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, it's a power outage, all right. Uh, Anita, ¿me regala confirmación, por favor? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, Brenda, well, Brenda is there. So, I think she's sick. Carlos? Present. Thank you. And um, Guadalupe? Present, Miss. Thank you. Brian? Present, teacher. Present. Thank you so much. And uh, Jackie? Jackie? She's not there. Okay. Uh, Ignacio? Ignacio? Jocelyn. Present, present. Thank you. Gotcha. Jocelyn. Oh, Jocelyn, creo que estaba from her poem. Okay. Eh, Norberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mr. Bonilla. Present. Thank you so much. Marvin Lopez. Hey, Marvin, how are you? Hi, teacher. Present. Gracias. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hello, Miss. I am here. Thank you, Clary. Moses. Hello, teacher. Thank Present. you. Pedrina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Renee. Present. Present. There we go. Thank you so much. Uh, Ricardo. Well, Richard, teacher. Thank you. Gracias, gracias. Thank you for the confirmation. Sandra? Present teacher. Hello, Miss. Thank you. And Mabel? Present teacher. Thank you so much. And Ingrid? There you go. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Uh, so look for this. Oh, Pedrina. I, I, did I call you? I think I didn't. <laughs> Ok, ok, guys, so, solo les quiero agradecer por la asistencia. Creo que me escucho con eco. I don't know if it's only me. So, um, thank you so much. Gracias por la asistencia de esta semana. You know, it's been like pretty, pretty good. Eh, nos quedan solamente un par de sesiones más. Terminamos el próximo viernes, right? And, uh, and I just want to say thank you porque... I mean, I see you there, like, practicing super activos. Today you were, like, very, very active. Uh, este tema es bien bonito because we can review all the different things. We can talk about present, we can talk about past. Y hablamos de experiencias. Eh, gracias también a quienes ya me compartieron el video. No sé si alguien tuvo dificultades with, like, uploading the video. Algunos me lo mandaron por WhatsApp, you know, uh, porque tuvieron some issues. Eh, los demás, todos estamos bien. Are we good? ¿Ya empezaron a completar los ejercicios de la unidad número 3? Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿Han tenido yes, alguna dificultad with any exercise? ¿O no? Sí. Uh, no, yes. la número Quiero no. preguntar. La... Dígame, dígame. En la, en la segunda tarea, uh -huh. ahí el último ejercicio yo lo he hecho de varias formas, pero no me lo guarda. Creo que quizás ha de ser de, de escritura, no sé, lo voy a chequear porque cabal me falta uno. En la de ahora. En la de ahora, sí. Sería la clase sí. número. La 13. 13. ¿La 12? Esa no tuve problema. Ok, Pero la 13 no sería la de mañana. Ah, no, no, no. Pues sí, sí es esa la que vimos hoy. La de Javi. Sí, es la 12, ajá, porque yo pongo ahí. 
está bien, o sea, yo siento que está bien la oración, pero no me la guarda, debe ser algún espacio o algo. Ahorita le la Es la 5 de la 12. Mis. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, yo le voy a mandar la captura de la uh, tarea que sí me está dando problema, pero creo que es parte del sistema. Le voy a mandar la captura a su, a su número privado. Okay. Eh, sí, mis, por favor, si tienen algún ejercicio que están, como ya hicieron, ya probaron todas las formas posibles y no le funciona, send it to me y, y yo lo escalo, yo lo reviso. Eh, so, Pedrina, con su ejercicio, estoy revisando. No sé si se refiere a la número 5 de Secretary made enough copies of the report. Es esa. Is that the one? De ninguna forma me la sé. Ya la puse de varias cosas. Ahí se la mandé a su teléfono. Has made la pa no alcanza a salir toda, ¿verdad? Porque lo otro es complemento, pero... Pero no sé, quizás me he equivocado en el bueno, verbo. En la que me acaba de mandar, eh, le falta una letra E, es made. Ah, ah, entonces quizás esa E, ¿verdad? Revisemos, check it out. You know, no se la acepta, sí. eh, send me like the full answer y la reviso, no worries. Ah, ok, por ahí. Bien, thank you so much. Ok, everybody, so thank you so much for the... Your attendance, cualquier cosita, man, toma la captura, me lo envían y lo revisamos. Nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. Que duerman bien. Bye, 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 bye. See you, see you. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, Richard, no bye. se me vaya. <laughs> bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Déjeme hacerle un segundito, Richard. Déjeme limpiar por aquí el Q. Ahí está. Ok. Hola, Richard. ¿Me lo voy a escuchar? ¿Can you hear me? Sí, teacher. Ok, great, great, great. So, gracias. Solo le voy a robar un par de minutitos para nuestra sesión one on one. Eh, first, no sé si tiene como algún ejercicio, algún temita que quiere que revisemos. O we practice. Eh... En realidad todos los temas los estoy agarrando, los estoy entendiendo. Yes, very nice. Yes. Okay, yes. great. I'm happy to hear that. Entonces practiquemos. Let's take advantage of the time that we have. And uh, maybe we can speak, we can use simple past. ¿Qué son los temas que hemos estado revisando? Uh, yes. Sí, está bien. Okay, okay, perfect. So um, today, for example, Today we were working with the topic of experiences with have, like have you. So let me ask you some questions and, and you can give me like your opinion. For example, one of the questions that I have today says, have you, give me one second because I closed it. Okay. So, um, okay. Have you ever broken like a window? Have you broken something in your house? Broken in the house. Um, broken. Have you broken, like, for example, have you broken a window? Have you broken? Uh, no, 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 no. Have broken. you broken a, a computer? No. No broken. Okay, good. Have you ever, have you ever seen a good movie? A uh, good movie. Uh, yes. Uh, pero no es ver la película, ¿verdad? Sino que es... Repítame la, la cuestión. Yes. Have you ever seen a good movie? Ah, yes. Uh, seen mu eh, eh, movie, eh, ¿verdad? No music. Yes. Okay. Tell me about the movie. Give me, give me some information about the movie. Movie... Um... I like good eh, movies, eh, la vida es buena. Um, um, okay, describe, uh -huh, describe the movie for me, please. 
guess um um no sé cómo comenzar <laughs> the movie is about so la película se trata de the movie ah, is okay. about the, the movie is, uh, is about a uh, uh, life no, living a uh, story okay. uh, de la guerra no sé cómo se le dice war 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 eh, entre between uh, between eh, país, países countries countries mm -hmm. eh, and their uh, eh, one member uh, 32 parece que es Okay. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Tell yeah. me. Uh, what happens in the movie? Uh, like, ¿Qué pasó? Uh -huh. What happens in the movie? Ah, okay. Uh, what in the guerra? Maybe. Um, yes. What is guerra? Yes. Uh, in... Entre la Unión Soviética, no sé cómo se explica. Uh, it, it, it's okay. Try, try to explain with your, with your own words. Yes. Uh, because, Is it about a boy? Is it a, chi a child? Like children? Yes, a man? yes children. Mm -hmm. children uh, one children. And uh, the father. A mom. Uh, is, Como que la tiene secuestrada, no sé cómo se dice. Okay. Yes, y el father um, inventory, eh, una fantasy. One fantasy, eh, children eh, not, uh, como no sufrir, por decirlo así. Mm -hmm. mm. So the, the man, the man has, the man wants like a good future. Yes. Eh, Children, no, no sé, no sé cómo decirlo. Well, to be honest, problems. yeah, to be honest, I have never seen the movie La Vida es Bella, but yes. I have heard that it's a very sad story. <laughs> yes, so yes. I don't like it. Uh -huh. That's not my yes. favorite. Okay. Ah, okay. That okay. is one of your favorite movies, La Vida es Bella. Yes. Mm -hmm. Another movie? Is there another movie you like? Repeat. Yeah. Do you like another movie? Uh, yes. Um movie mm -hmm. another another movie otra ah okay um this um this is, this is my real no remember it's okay it's okay. <laughs> no worries, no worries. <laughs> ah ahora que lo menciona nombre eso sí re revisémoslo ahorita <laughs> so we got to check that out, okay? No, pero ya me, eh, el inicio, el inicio, sí, ya me lo, o sea, me lo puedo. Lo único que se me fue es A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U B W X uh, why Hi. is it okay? Very good. Can you spell your name? ¿Cómo? Can you spell? <clears throat> Perdón, spell es deletrear. Can you spell your name? Yes, eh, R, mm -hmm. uh, I, mm -hmm. C, eight, mm -hmm. eh, D. Uh, o, eh, eight, eh, el, eh, y, y, mm -hmm. eh, eight, eight, I, uh -huh. y, es. 
Can, can you say it again? Again. Can you repeat? Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, R, uh -huh. I, uh -huh. T, eight, uh, R, uh, D, uh -huh. uh, Q, Ah, uh, no, perdón. La... Ajá, es que siento que... <risa> no, 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 me confundí. O, oh, O, oh, es O, oh, O. Oh. Es que siempre okay. me he confundido con la O oh y con la Q. Bueno, hagámoslo otra vez. Let's do it one more time y lo voy a escribir. Because es que son unas letras que... Ajá, uh -huh, they don't go there. Ok, sí. let's do it. R, uh -huh. I, uh -huh. uh, C, uh -huh. eight, uh -huh. R, uh -huh. D, uh -huh. O. Oh. Okay, now we got sí, it. Sí, sí, sí. Now we got it. Es que me confundo, es que me confundo. Okay, uh, Ricardo, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Um, le voy a mandar ahorita 10 palabras. I'm going to send you 10 words. Y necesito que me las deletre. Me manda un audio, por favor. Eh, puede okay. ser ahora, si tiene tiempo. Y si no, pues mañana, cuando tenga un par, unos minutitos. Es rápido. Okay. Okay. So, for example, el, le voy a mandar palabras, no sé, como por ejemplo, lizard. Solamente es como L I Z A R D, lo más rápido que pueda, de fast as you can, okay. pero también claro, ¿verdad? Que se escuche sí. bien clarito. Ok, para que practiquemos un poquito lo del abecedario, probablemente solo es que se nos ha olvidado. You know? Sí, y se nos fue. Necesitamos reforzarlo, no, pero está bien. It's just fine. Es que tantas cosas que hay que aprenderse que. Ay, no, ay, no. Pero mire, vamos poquito a poquito y lo está haciendo súper bien. Solo es de ir reforzando esos temitas que, que se nos vayan olvidando. Obviamente, no lo practico, se me olvida. So, it's okay. Sí, eso me vale, fine. Ok, great. Gracias, okay. Ricardo, por su tiempo. Nos vemos mañana. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Ya le envío las palabras. Bye, okay. <laughs> bye. -bye. <laughs>